series of videos on um, how to go about building your own composite um, skateboard deck or off-road electric skateboard. So the first, the first stage is to get the core material made up. This is just made from um, just some old recycled pallet timber that's been ripped down to 20 by 8. Um, if you're quite a bit heavier, I'm about 70 kilos, but if you're heavier, you would probably make, pay to make it a little bit thick, thicker, maybe 9 or 10 mil thick. So it's just, um, I think I made the strips about a metre long. And just glued together with one, mill, one millimetre spacing using hot glue. The width was about 230 millimeters wide. Um, I've used a flax fiber for um, for the deck top, but you can use um, anything you want. You just need raw fiberglass, carbon fiber, or um, um, jute, some other natural fiber if you want to. This is um, hacking the fiber, it's just like combing, it just rips all the short fibers out from the long, longer fibers. process has been around for hundreds of years. This is just um, just stretching the flax out so it just stays um, just so it stays in line, it doesn't get tangled up too much, especially when you um, when you start to lay put the layers lay up on the on the mould. This is the mould, it's just a bit of um, PVC board that's been shaped on the mould, so it's curved, um, got a compound curve on it. Just um, the vacuum bagging tape going down. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, there's heaps of um, other um, videos about it, Easy Composites um, put out some excellent videos on how to do vacuum bagging. Um, so the tire of the flax are the little short bits that were ripped out from the hackling. So I just throw these down randomly just to give it, just to give it a sort of a, a bit more of a, it just makes it, makes it look a lot better when it's finished. Okay, it's just a layer, um, two layers of glass going on top of the flax. Some by axle and um, unidirectional, and then just repeat it again on the other side. Core goes down, and just um, it's just repeated again. By axle unidirectional, and just um, some unidirectional carbon fiber just to give it a bit more strength on the bottom. This is where it's going to flex quite a lot. Just trimming it up so you get no fibers through your vacuum bag and tape. The most important thing with this is, is to get a really good seal on that bag. I used to spend as much time as I needed to get this right. Fuel ply and some just some mesh. Okay, the, the little um vacuum bag and stand off the news, I just 3D cut them and just throw them away when I'm finished. As I said before, it's really, really important to take the time with this, make sure there's absolutely no wrinkles in that bag or that kind of bag and tape or any fibers getting stuck in there. Otherwise, you just place it, place it the, whole, the whole time doing the old job. Easy Composites have, have really good videos on showing you how to um, back your bag. And 
um, this is actually based on their skateboard video as well. They do a very similar process in theirs. Okay, after I usually leave it for quite a few hours, I'm under full vacuum just to make sure it's, um, there's no leaks at all. Um, then when I'm happy with it, it's just a matter of mixing the resin and um, putting the resin through the, through the layer. Right, and just clamp off both ends and just leave for um, 24, 48 hours. This can be really frustrating sometimes getting that fuel fly off. Sometimes it can look easy, sometimes it's a struggle. Just gotta be patient and persist with it. It's just a simple matter of um, um, cutting it to shape, cutting and sanding it to the shape um, of the wood you want. That's it. That's the, basically, that's, that's this um, part of the part of the series done. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.